The actor and comedian John Bird has died at the age of 86. He appeared in satirical programmes such as That Was The Week That Was, but perhaps was best known for his work with John Fortune and Rory Bremner. He won BAFTAs for his work in both the early and late stages of his career. Our entertainment correspondent Colin Patterson looks back at his life. I'd like to say that I yield to no one in my admiration for uh, Dr Carey, but I, at the same time, I would respectfully suggest that he is a sanctimonious old fart who can't add John up. Bird and his great friend John Fortune were famous for their satirical sketches, working for more than 20 years with Rory Bremner. Their sections of the show usually featured one of them interviewing the other to highlight the pomposity of people in power. Let's say just going along as normal in the market, and then suddenly out of the blue, one of these very sharp and sophisticated people says, my God, something awful is going to happen. Uh, we, we, we lost everything. And what was wonderful watching the sketches, and I urge people to watch the sketches, is just seeing these two friends and how they made it look so effortless as they took apart government policy or took apart, um, you know, the, the principles in, in, in public life in a way that just made you just clutch your sides with laughter. John Bird was a star of the Cambridge Footlights in the 1950s, where he directed Peter Cook. They would become instrumental in the 60s satire boom. Politicians had suddenly become fair game to be mocked. He turned down the chance to present That Was The Week That Was, despite coming up with the name of the show. Instead, he recommended his flatmate, David Frost. John Bird became a TV regular on its sequel, not so much a programme, more a way of life where his impressions of the Prime Minister, Harold Wilson, helped win him his first BAFTA in 1966. It all is not well within the government. Some of my colleagues have not performed as I expected them to. Even worse, some of them have. What we do is his partnership with John Fortune was underway and they featured in a sketch with a young Alan Bennett about TV executives trying to think up new ideas for a show. Looking back on his career, John Bird once said, I always think by now I should be having a late period. I've had an early period that's gone on. A rare talent there, the satirist John Bird has died at the age of 86. The much admired actor and comedian John Bird has died at the age of 86. He was best known for his performances in the TV series Bremner, Bird and Fortune, mercilessly sending up the rich and powerful with his cutting wit and humour. Today, Rory Bremner called him one of the greatest satirists. Martha Fairley looks back at his long career. Uh, you are an admiral. I am an admiral. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I wear an admiral's hat. <laughs> John Bird had a talent for portraying those in the upper echelons of the establishment. At the moment, we can afford to either have the carriers or the aircraft, but not both. <laughs> and exposing their shortcomings. The record of uh, computerisation in government departments has uh, not been exactly unblemished, has it? Patchy? Oh, oh <laughs> ra rather more than patchy, there's the fiasco of the passport office. Incompetent politicians, bureaucrats and businessmen were all fair game in the satirical skits he performed with his comedy partner, John Fortune. Please don't go on. They regularly worked with comedian Rory Bremner, who today paid tribute, saying it's an irony that one of our greatest satirists, so brilliant at portraying ministers, civil servants or high-ranking officials who exuded self-satisfaction, was himself so modest and self-effacing. John Bird had been writing and performing satire since he was at Cambridge University, where he met John Fortune. The pair won a BAFTA for their Long John sketches in 1997. John Bird also made appearances in other shows, including Yes, Prime Minister, Morse and The Legal Comedy Chambers. But he'll be best remembered as one of the two Johns who ridiculed those in power. And then I would say to you what people like me always say, that it's not us that will suffer, it's your pension fund. With his effortless satire. Remembering John Bird, whose death was announced today.